Let's write the name for PBS2. So first off, we have lead. Lead is what we consider a post-transition metal. It can have variable charges. So we have our lead, which is a metal, and then sulfur, non-metal. We'll consider this an ionic compound here, and we'll use these rules. First, we'll name the metal. That's the cation, the positive ion. That's the lead. So lead. And then we're going to write the name for the non-metal, the anion. That's the sulfur here, lowercase s. We're going to replace the ending, this ur here, with ide. And that gives us lead sulfide. We said lead, that's a post-transition metal. We need to identify its charge based on what it's bonded to. So we'll look at the charge on the non-metal, the sulfur, to help figure out the charge on the lead. Sulfur is 2 minus, and we have two of them. So that's total 4 minus. The lead's going to have to be 4 plus for those charges to balance, give us a net charge of 0. And we show the 4 plus here by putting a Roman numeral 4 in parentheses between the names. That makes the name for PBS2 lead 4 sulfide. If we had just PBS, it would be lead 2 sulfide. This is Dr. V with the name for PBS2 lead 4 sulfide. Thanks for watching.